After she had been out for over three hours, Pam was told it's time to go home. Sorry for interrupting you, Pam, but now it's time. It's what we choose. Right. It's now nearly 10 minutes before three. Yeah. 10 minutes to three and we leave now. Right, oh, we've got to go back now. Right, so okay. I've got we have, to... We have to get a taxi. Right. <laughs> okay. Where can we get a taxi? Uh, you know where we were filming before? Yeah. Watch the time code so figures at the bottom of the screen and see what happens. Knock on the okay. door there. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's go. Almost exactly. How could the moment that Pam got up to go home send JT to the window? We're going home now, Pam. Do you think of JT now at the moment? Uh, no, you said that. Yes, I'm thinking yeah. about him. I wasn't really thinking too much about him before. But it doesn't seem to matter whether I'm thinking about him or not. Remember, she's still 10 minutes away, and the van she is riding in is strange to both Pam and JT. It's just, it's not a remarkable dog. Once again, as it happens hundreds of times a day all over the world, pet and owner are reunited at the front door. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, stay, stay yes. there, stay. Yes, he's a good boy. Have a good time. Right, he'll be dying once he's a good boy. Oh, good boy. Well, here's another example, completely independent. There's an actual photograph of this one. This person is called David Waite, uh, and his cat's called Godzilla. There's Godzilla. <laughs> uh, and David Waite is a public relations consultant and works from home. And this is his story. In the halcyon days before the recession, my telephone used to ring many times each day. When I went away several times per year, my parents came to mind the house and the cat and to monitor the phone. It was my practice to call home from North Africa, the Middle East and Europe to check that all was well and to get any messages. It seems that whenever I called, my cat would run and sit beside the telephone as it was ringing and before it was picked up, whereas she ignored the other calls which my parents took on my behalf. And the calls were made at random times. Well, you see, this is a very, very fascinating phenomenon. It would be very easy to do, to have video cameras that switched on automatically every time the telephone began ringing, again, a clock beside the telephone, and monitor this phenomenon. You could do statistical tests, ask people to ring home at randomized times, and so forth. So I'm keenly pursuing cats that can do this. And unfortunately, <laughs> Godzilla's a little bit senile, and... <laughs> doesn't seem up to it anymore. Uh, the only one I've been able to find that's still alive and compost mentis um, is uh, one that unfortunately lives in the country and roams far and wide during the summer and so is unable to come to the telephone. Uh, <laughs>